Hey, how you doing? It's Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and this is the brand new radio I just got in. It's the, um, I can't pronounce the name of the seller, but it's a model RD239. It's Airband, VHF, FM, AM, shortwave, weatherband, it's got a TF car reader to play music and record off the radio. Has alarm, sleep timer. Oh gosh, what else? So it does us ATS, automatic tuning and storing. The bands are, um, there are two FM bands, one for Europe and one for, and other countries and one for the United States. Uh, AM band for the US only. Yeah, oh no, there's two AM bands, one for the United States, one for foreign countries. Shortwave is 3.2 to 30 megahertz, the entire band, no gaps or anything. VHF is 30 megahertz to 200 megahertz. Oh my gosh. Airband is 118 to 138, and of course the weather band. I mean, unbelievable things you can do with this radio i've only had it for a short period of time and i've only tested it for maybe 15 minutes um i'll show you the interface up close easy to read nice bright display i'll turn it on there's the clock which is not set and then you push and hold and it goes to the radio oops and i take that back Went to the sleep timer. There's a remembrance book. When we talk about the Lord, great audio. I did a. When we worship the Lord, was a little bit dusty. Um, I did a. Where's volume? A, a friend of mine. She had a I'm just learning how to use this. Oh, that's not volume. Oh, that right here. V minus V plus. That's volume. Okay, let's go back up here. Uh, we turn the volume down. And it has a uh, signal strength set of LEDs. Has a mic input for recording. My gosh, I can't believe all this stuff. Tuning here or tuning using the up-down buttons. ATS, like I said. Um, you can uh, believe, I haven't tried it. I think you can direct tune. It's got a keypad so you can direct tune. Um, it uses either two, excuse me, three AAA batteries or one uh, BL-5C cell phone battery, which is, it comes with, and I've got that in there now, I've charged it, comes with a charging cable. Right there, you plug it in right here. There is a headphone jack, and there's auxiliary input. We're using it for a digital recorder. It's got a light. Oh my gosh. Uh, it has one of the things I love about the portable radios. It has a kickstand, which I can't get my finger under. There, you've got a kickstand. This is this controls the light. And it has a external antenna jack. That's for um, FM, shortwave, VHF, uh, weather band. I did a scan this morning, um, and on the shortwave band, uh, using both the internal antenna, which is about 15 inches, and an external antenna. And I didn't receive very much. I received three or four stations. They were very strong, but I think they were within a thousand miles of my location. I don't know what's going on with shortwave. I checked the same thing with my um, better radio, my best radio in an outside antenna, and I still didn't receive much on shortwave. I don't know what's going on with shortwave. Something weird about the conditions. 
Um, I think that's about it. I will be doing some uh, testing of the bands. I did also scan AM and FM. They got a lot of stations, so that worked well. And I got it on discount. It was normally, I think, $53, and I got $10 off, I believe, $43. Pretty nice little radio. I just just hope I can get some decent results from the shortwave band, either using the internal antenna, which is, this telescopic antenna is really short, and you have to be very careful because, and I'll try to show you, the top links are tiny, so they could easily be broken, so you got to be very careful. That's about it. I'll be showing you more details about the functions and stuff as I learn them. Thanks for watching. I'm going to put this in my Amazon store already because it's got so many features. And uh, I really like it so far. Just, uh, we'll see how it does on shortwave. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.